welcome back to an all new episode of Messing with Matt. This week, we're gonna have a two part recipe for you. We'll be making carne asada and mama's homemade rice. So roll up your sleeves and let's get messy. We're gonna be hitting the road with our carne asada and rice. So before we even get going, we're gonna start off by marinating our carne asada so it marinades on the ride to our friend's house. So to start off, you're gonna get a flap steak or a skirt steak uh, from the store and we're gonna marinate it ourselves. So the first thing we're gonna do to our steak today is we're gonna give it a little bit of a tenderizer. If you don't have a tenderizer, you just find a nice wooden mallet of some kind that's safe for food. Um, you're just gonna go ahead and you're just gonna give it a nice little hammer just to start tenderizing your meat. Once your meat has been tenderized, we're gonna start off by making our marinade and you're going to need to start off with a teaspoon of garlic, pre-minced. You'll need two tablespoons of soy sauce. You'll also need two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. You'll also need the juice of two limes. You'll also need two tablespoons of oil. Then you're gonna give your marinade a nice whisk. Next, you'll wanna chop up a half a bunch of cilantro. You're gonna add the cilantro to your steak. Next, you'll wanna slice up a half an onion and add that to your steak. For your seasoning, you're gonna do a tablespoon of adobo and you're gonna do one tablespoon of steak seasoning. And then you're gonna wanna rub your dry seasoning onto your steaks. You're gonna season one side of your steak with the dry seasoning, rub it in and flip it over and season and rub in the second side. Once you have the steaks and the vegetables in the container, you're gonna add in your liquid marinade. And then you're gonna give that a nice mix with your hands. Now we're gonna let that marinate for at least 20 minutes or preferably overnight, but we're just gonna head down to our friend's house and we'll continue this later. We'll be right back. Now we're gonna start off on mama's homemade cooked rice. To start off, you're gonna put two cups of rice in your nonstick skillet. Make sure that you rinse off all of your rice uh, and make sure that it's nice and clean before you put it into the pan. A drizzle of olive oil and you're gonna put that on medium heat to let the rice brown. Now while your rice is browning, you're gonna start with the filling of the rice. And you're gonna to wanna to start off with two tomatoes. You're gonna to add a half of onion to your tomatoes. Squeeze in the juice of two limes. You'll need two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. You also need one tablespoon of minced garlic. You'll also need two cups of water. Blend that in your blender for, until it's nice and smooth. Once your rice is browned, you're gonna add your tomato mixture to it. Once your tomato sauce is into your rice, you're gonna let it come to a boil. Then you're gonna turn it down to simmer, cover it with foil and a lid, and let that simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. So here we are at my friend's house and we're going to get started on our carne asada. You're gonna to wanna to turn your grill on to a nice medium heat, and then we're gonna add our meat. So you've added your carne asada to the grill. Now you're just gonna go ahead and let that cook for a few minutes. Once you see the carne asada starting to brown, we're gonna add your corn tortillas. You wanna make sure that whenever you add your corn tortillas, that you're adding two layered together. After about two minutes, you're gonna to wanna to flip your tortillas so that way the other side start to cook. As your meat gets ready to come off the grill, you're just gonna put it into a prepared dish. And there you have your carne asada and corn tortillas. Now let's go check on mom's rice. So after about 20 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to check mom's rice. Let's see how that's doing. So you'll see that once the, the rice is uh, cooked all the way, it actually kind of starts to fall apart, but if it's still mushy, it's not ready yet. So just you wanna cover it again, and then we'll continue to cook it for about five to 10 more minutes. And now you see that the rice is done because it's falling apart, and we're gonna give that a nice stir so all the ingredients have been distributed again evenly because your tomatoes usually come to the top. And you wanna be gentle while you're uh, stirring that so you don't break the grains of the rice. So that's done. And there you have it, mom's homemade Spanish rice. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do, everybody. Now let's add it with our carne asada and enjoy this meal. See you next time on Messing with Matt. And don't forget to follow us on social media and share with all your friends for all my latest recipes. 